Northeast Ohio, football is, is huge, whether it's high school football, college football, and obviously here with the Pro Football Hall of Fame. The Hall of Fame is the museum for the most popular sport in the United States, and we get guests from every state in the country and several foreign nations who come here and want to experience American football. First constructed in 1963, several renovations have allowed the NFL Hall of Fame here in Canton, Ohio to grow both in size and stature. Today it's an internationally recognized institution and a pilgrimage for fans across the world. But after the tours, the question has always been, so where do we go from here? This is Centennial Plaza. In the heart of the Arts District in downtown Canton, Ohio, it's a $12.3 million construction project. The space will include a cafe, a large LED screen, stage, pavilion, and a children's area. Once finished, the Hall of Fame will be responsible for all programming for games and concerts. Centennial Plaza coming together now is the culmination of several years of planning and a very long dream of people to connect the Pro Football Hall of Fame to downtown Canton. It's in downtown Canton that the league was formed in 1920. So for the last several years, the community leaders and the Hall of Fame leaders have discussed how could they create a link between downtown and the Hall of Fame campus. Putting this here in downtown Canton will bring people back downtown. Canton Centennial Project is pretty elaborate in its electrical design. We've got a lot of theatrical lighting, a pretty elaborate sound systems. There's some kiosks that are throughout the site. It's gonna really make for a unique night experience with architectural design of the steel, how that's gonna be lit up at night. It's gonna be a really cool environment and a really uh, interesting place to be. They're gonna have a stage back here with a video wall. There'll be theatrical lighting all through the pavilion. The inside, from an aerial point of view, it's gonna look like a football. The challenges for us were, how do you hide the pipe in there? And how do you attach the lights to the pavilion? And there'll be a DMX control. It's gonna be really, really cool. The cafe area, and that's where everything comes out of for this entire site. You don't see any electrical on the job other than just lights. They don't want to see all the big switch gear and panels. And that kind of made it a challenge because everything's coming from one spot off of site. That made it a challenge to figure out where we were going to hide all of these boxes and things throughout this whole job to be able to hide our wiring. I like Kosher. They supply us with the things that we need. It's nice to have a company that cares about you having what you need for the job. And the Centennial Plaza is just the beginning. The entire area will continue to build out. We've got a great relationship with the city and, and with the Hall of Fame itself. They're going to start here with the Centennial Plaza. they got a hotel that's down the road that we're currently working on as well. And they've got plans for in the future to do an excellent center, Ledges Landing for Hall of Famers, a water park, another hotel, some restaurants. We did complete the stadium, so we're very excited. For Electric TV in Canton, Ohio, I'm Erica McClarity.